Hi, it's Heather from the Leaper Library here. Today I'm going to show you how to use our fantastic collection of reference ebooks on the Gale platform. This collection is full of multi volume sets specialising in a huge range of academic topics. Like most things for the library, we start here on the library homepage. You can get to it from the link on TCOL or there's a link showing on this page right now. Now to get to Gale eBooks, you'll see the box here that says Gale eBooks. We could click here and search for something, but for now we're just going to browse. So we'll click on the box and it will take us to the sign in page. We don't actually have a password. What we do here is choose sign in with Microsoft. And we put in our Trinity email address and password. And here we are on the home page for Gale eBooks. All the eBooks are organized into collections on different topics. So we've got environment, medicine, science, technology, literature, history, and so on. You can open up any of the collections to have a closer look. Let's have a look in science. So there's 47 different books and that's not just individual books. They're generally um, multi-volume sets. Some are individual books but a lot of them are multi-volume sets. And again you can browse through and just see what title takes your fancy. Let's have a look at this book here, Biotechnology Changing Life Through Science. open it up we've got a table of contents here now this is what I was talking about before they're multi-volume sets this first volume is about medicine volume two is on agriculture and the third volume is about industry so you can just browse through the different topics that are covered in this book if you find something that you're interested in you can open up the article and have a closer look This is the text view. You can also view it as if it was an actual book. So up the top here, we have book view. And this looks much more as if it would in an actual book. Just reduce the size a bit to make it a little bit easier to see the whole page. You can also have two pages showing or just one. So as you can see, this is what it would look like if it was a printed book, but it's showing on your screen. Text view is very handy though, because it does give you some extra information and some extra tools that you can use to help you. We'll look at those more after we've done a search. Let's do a search for sustainability. Now in the results list, we've got 3,800 results here, so that's quite a lot. Um, one of the things you might look at to see if it's useful to you is the language level. If it's got five dots, it's the most complex language. Four dots is a little bit easier. But generally, four and five dots is aimed at upper secondary to early university level. You'll also see that a lot of these are topic overviews one type of document. There are other types of documents and you can see here under document type are the ones that are included here. So the most common one for this search is a topic overview. The biography is up there as well. And so biographies, they would be articles that are particularly about people who are interesting in the field of sustainability. We're not going to um, filter our search here on either of those for now. Uh, but what I'm going to do is add another word. I'm actually interested in sustainability in sport. And let's see what happens when we search that. All right, that gets us down to just 16 results at this point. So that's pretty handy and pretty easy to um, start looking more closely. 
I'm quite interested in this, sports and the challenges of sustainability. Let's click on the article to open it up. We can see it's a 12 page article, it's level four. Let's have a look at some of the other features and tools that there are for you to use. We can change the font size here to make it easier to read. Make it bigger, make it bigger, make it smaller. You can also listen. Overview. Kara Mitches examines the relationship between sports and environmental sustainability through the lens of the Olympic Games. You can add highlights. Just select the text you want to highlight, click the highlight button, choose your colour. You can also add notes. So connected to any highlight, you can write a note. So when you're actually doing some study and you're reading an article and something is answering a question that you're, you're wanting to answer, you can make your notes within the document. Another feature here we've got is the ability to define a word. So if you highlight just a word, one of the options here is define and up comes some dictionary definitions. So that's another useful tool. Now I've already made a few highlights and notes on this article, as you'll see. Now that's all very well, it's on the screen here, but what if we want to save it? Well, we've got this great tool here where we can download this as a Word document and including our highlights and our notes into our OneDrive, which is part of our Trinity email account. You can also use Google Drive. If you have a Google account, you would have to sign in separately for, to do that. But once you're, you've made your highlights, you can just click on the button here and it will say the document's been sent to your Microsoft OneDrive and will appear in the cloud soon. So here I've signed into my OneDrive and you'll find here now there's a folder called Gale eBooks. It will automatically create that folder for you the first time you save something. So you can click into that folder and find the articles that you've saved. I've got a couple of different ones I've done earlier. But here's uh, the sports and the challenges of sustainability one that I just saved. Open that up here. And here's the article complete with the highlights that I put into it. And down at the end is a list of the highlights and the notes that I included with them. So there's the highlighted passages, there's one note, there's another note that I typed in at the time. So that's what you get, it's actually a Word document, so it can be very handy. You can also email an article to yourself or to somebody else. It asks you, do you want to send the full text of the article or just a citation? And you can choose there. And you can download. Now, if you download the article, what you will get is a PDF document that looks like the book view. Back on the article page, we've got a few other options up the top here. The table of contents just shows you where this particular article is in the um, full volume of the set that you're reading. Book view we've looked at before. Now site. Site's a really useful one. This gives you a proper citation for a reference list. You've got a choice of three different citation styles. At Trinity we use either APA or Harvard and Harvard is quite similar to APA so I would suggest you copy and paste the APA one and you can just edit it slightly so that it fits into the Harvard format. So select it, copy it and paste it to the reference list. Send to is just a shortcut link for Google Drive, OneDrive or email which were the other options down here. Download again is like the PDF one. You can send it to a printer. You can just get a permanent link to this article to get you back to that page quickly. So sometimes if you haven't decided if you're going to use an article but you, you might want to come back to it, maybe you haven't quite decided on your topic, it can be handy to just keep those links so you don't have to remember what steps you went through to search to get to it. 
It's also handy, um, perhaps you're doing a group project and you want to share an article with somebody else, you can copy and paste, copy that link and send it to them. Um, and here we'll show you all the highlights and notes that you've made so far on this page. A couple of other things to look at. On the right hand side we've got Explore and this will come up on pretty much every article. It'll give you some other suggested articles that are similar to what you're reading. It will also give you some of the subjects to search for so you can click those links and you'll get um, a whole lot of results on those subjects which are related to this article. And if we go right down to the bottom of the article Every article will have its own bibliography to show you the sources that the author used to write this article. Now obviously a lot of these are going to be uh, physical books that you're not going to be able to get hold of, but quite often um, they are things that have got links that you can actually go to and go to the source material. So if you're finding an article really useful, you can delve further by looking into some of the articles that the author of this one used. So that pretty much covers what you can find in Gale eBooks. It's not just science, it's not just technology, it's not just environment. Um, there's some terrific stuff in the art section. Encyclopedia of film, encyclopedia of clothing and fashion, arts and humanities through the years. Uh, if we have a look in literature, authors and writers, propaganda, books to film, that looks like a really interesting little set. Um, in history, world eras, modern conflict and diplomacy. There's all kinds of different um, amazing multi-volume sets of reference material here and uh, I really do encourage you to use it. And as always, if there's any questions that you have, if you have any difficulty with using this tool, anything at all, don't hesitate to get in touch with your friendly librarians at the Leaper Library. Thank you.